What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Ari. Welcome back to AM Island Vlogs. I mean, thank you for tuning back in. Hope you guys have awesome and they're going to be reacting to 808. Uh, I mean, 808. Yo, yo, 808. He exposed my manhood. Pause. Animated story. If you guys are new to the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. Original link to the video will be down below. Shouts out to Yo Yo once again. Um, first YouTuber, big YouTuber, that actually showed me love on the channel. Period. So I fucks with him. I have, always will have respect for him. With that being said, let's get into it. If any nigga say some shit about him, I'm on your top, nigga. Stop playing with me. This story took whoa, place whoa, in whoa, 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 whoa. In South Carolina. My mom had a friend who named Tanya, and she had two children, Darren and Peace. Every once in a while, we would all go to their house and stay the weekend, and while my mom spent time with Tanya, my brother and I would get into all kinds of shenanigans with her kids. And now we. <laughs> Yo, you sound like an old, <laughs> a middle aged housewife. <laughs> shenanigans. <laughs> we, did. we would do things like fighting, fighting in the kitchen, fighting in the living room, playing video games. Fighting. fighting in the bathroom, fighting in the backyard. We we did not get along well, like, like, at all. I'm sure most of you can pick this up from how I portray myself on the internet, but I was a little square as a kid. I, I literally just drew pictures and played Smash Bros. That, that's it. And well, you know, things change. Now, I'm a big square instead of a small square. I still don't do my- Darren and Peace, on the other hand, much tougher than my soft ass. And they definitely knew it. Like, they would get bored and- and, and bully us just because they knew we wouldn't do anything. Like one morning I had woken up, went to the kitchen and poured me a nice, delectable, crunchy bowl of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Milk first, of course. Whoa, 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 what? Nigga, milk first? Yo, yo, you eat, you eat, you, I think you eat ass now and you suck toes. You suck toe jams, my nigga. Wait, bro, you you pulled up, like why? You get less cereal, my boy. And <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna just give the cereal first people a chance to get upset. Who the fuck? I take my correctly poured bowl of cereal, and right as I'm about to sit down and enjoy my food, my pants get yanked to the ground by Darren for everyone in the kitchen to bear witness. Straight I have a story with something like this. Out of shock, I look down at my pants on the ground, and my stomach starts to wound walk. It's turning so hard, but my pancreas couldn't get too sturdy Pops because the silence gets broken <laughs> by laughter. Darren, peace, and to my surprise, my brother, and he's laughing the hardest of all. <laughs> ah, okay, you got me. Bro. It'd be like that. that <laughs> it really would be like that. I realized my brother and everyone in the room is laughing a little too obnoxiously. Like, sure, it was funny, I guess, but pulling down my pants definitely did not warrant the response he was giving. Like, there is no reason for my brother to be laughing like a broken catalytic converter. <laughs> Mad and decide to ignore everyone. I pull my pants up, and right before I can leave, I hear this nigga wears tidy whities, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How old were you? Hey guys, this was the day I learned tidy whities weren't cool, and that everyone's supposed to wear boxers. Yes, I boy. was 12. How was I supposed to know that there were certain types of underwear that I could and could not wear? He does this. Boxes brief, brief, brief. This brief. Was and 12, I had brief. even the slightest chance of getting any type of box. So only no one only dirty bony niggas is wear like dumb, dumb plaid no boxes, boxes. And you know dirty bony niggas. The worst part of this is even my own brother didn't tell me that I was committing an international felony by wearing tidy whities because lo and behold, every male in this house was wearing them. Where was the end? And anyways, the day continues, but I'm annoyed, so I decide to play the Xbox, and they start to have a pillow fight. A fight that I definitely decided to skip out on out of anger and fear of getting pants again. So I play the game, fully ignoring everyone. I try to calm myself down by looking at nothing but the TV screen. I'm fully focused on this game right now, but then I feel a tap on my shoulder. I look over, and a pillow with the structural density of a brick rams into my face. Someone literally walked up to me while I was doing nothing, tapped me on the shoulder, and folded me like a Motorola phone, man. Ugh. They don't like you, bro. <clears throat> they don't want to see you. They don't want you to be great. 
That's what it is. I get up dizzier than a Bill Cosby party guest and to my surprise, I see my brother. You wrong for that. <laughs> you wrong for that. We don't tear down black man over here, man. Holding a pillow with a mold of my face in it. And honestly, I've never felt more betrayed in my life. Like, not only did he laugh at me, not tell me about the underwear, but he also hit me. But that's not all. He then has the absolute gall to ask me, do you want to play? <laughs> I decide to play, but the only game I'm thinking about is the one that got interrupted by the brick in a pillowcase. So I'm going for blood in this pillow fight, man. I'm knocking the right side of heads. Oh. 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 Wasted. So we're playing and playing, but I still haven't gotten a chance to hit my brother back because obviously he knows I want to knock his cerebral cortex out of his skull. So I'm he's a buddy. I'm doing for a good 30 minutes, but then. Sean knocked my doula out of him. Someone gets the mess knocked out of him. I don't fully remember exactly what happened, but somebody hit somebody too hard, and now my brother and Darren were arguing. Even though he annoyed me, that's still my little brother. And Darren is You're going damn right. So the only thing I have as an older brother is now's my chance to get back. I grab my pillow with two hands. I sneak behind him, twist my body all the way for maximum momentum. I channel my inner Chris Brown, and then I look down and see his loose pants around his waist. I think to myself, I can hit him, but I can actually do way worse. I drop my pillow, get down, grab his pants, and I yank them down to his ankles. Straight silence. I'm fully expecting to laugh with everyone in the room, but I look up and I see tears coming from my brother's eyes. Confused, I look at everyone in the room and they just look shocked. Even more confused, I look down and in my hands, I see my brother's pants. I know and a point. pair of red boxers They're looking at Khalil as if he was naked, but that he was not. I look right in front of me and see that he's wearing a Dora the Explorer pull-up diaper. My oh! He fed until he was like 12, so he had to wear these. I'm gonna expose myself too. I suck my thumb till I was a smooth 13. We all have old habits that we don't. I fuck that suck. This is like a word Pampers at 12. Really bad because he had just spent 30 minutes laughing about how I wore tidy whities meanwhile he was wearing Dora the Explorer pull-up diapers and no hold on hold on hold on my battery's about to die on my camera hold on hold on hold on and yeah we're back he was talking shit with my boy wearing boxes and he ran door to the door the expo come on my nigga you could have wear at least some kai you or i don't know kai used to look girl some diego boxes i mean pampas man I was in the middle of an argument with darren i tried to pull up his pants but the room erupts in laughter man i tried to calm darren and piece down but i literally showed the whole diaper bro. like there was no turning back I still haven't said anything to Khalil at this point I turn around to talk to him and I see nothing but pure rage in his face if looks could kill he'd be Ted Bundy bro but after glaring at me he just runs away and goes to the room and here's where I made a mistake because I thought he was wallowing in self pity in that room but little did I know he was plotting his revenge and man did he get me back so but that's a story for another day. Yeah, wrist got my rocks on it, then the flint stones. I, I don't. On the low like a limbo. I can't be with that bitch, she's a bimbo. Shoot a nigga in the face and pop his head like a pimpo. Red beam headshot, I will never miss those. Hey. Didn't need my white shorty, and she gave me crystals. Kim John Woo flow, taking off like missiles. 808, I'm copying wins while you pushing rentals. I'm the GOAT, it's a reason to be arrogant. Wanted all the smoke, so a nigga steady airing it. I am in my bag, about to blow like a bomb from a terrorist tree. That little bitch like a surrogate mom Speeding in the Tessie, I'm she racer Ops in the dust, they can't chase us Racks in the bank, but I'm not getting paced up Came a long way from animating, I'm the acer mom Nigga walking up to me like he wanna die I'ma send him in the air, he ain't even learn to fly Hey, now let me tell you my story of me getting pants, right? So, I was in high school at this point, right? Um, 
I want to say I was in third form, which is about ninth, tenth grade for the Americans. One of my homeboys to this day, his name is Rubens. Fuck you, Rubens. To this like, very exact moment, nigga. You ain't shit. You was a piece of shit to this very moment. We stole my nigga, right? So I remember I um, was coming back in from PE, which is gym class for y'all. So I had on my gym shorts, which is, you know, some, 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 some basketball pants, right? So we had we, the gym, the PE class, that's what we just call it. PE, physical education. PE class that day was tiring. So everybody was beat. So everybody just was sitting on the ground, right? Everybody back was on the wall, just sitting up. Oh. We tired, we tired, we tired. That's what everybody's saying. We tired, we tired, we tired. Anyway, cool. So now, people, why? I come inside the class, right? So I'm, I haven't sat down as yet. So I'm sitting, I'm, I'm still standing up. So everybody's sitting down, right? So at this point, I'm standing up, talking to people who sitting on the ground. It's like, yo, you know, whatever, yada, yada, yada. So, this dickhead nigga named Benz, my homie. This nigga sneak up behind me for no reason whatsoever. I did nothing to this man. I said nothing to this man an entire day. This nigga walked behind me, right? Grip my pants and pull it down. It'd be cool if he just pulled my pants down. I'd be like, hi, you got me, whatever. This nigga got my boxes as well. And I had no pampers on. So... Give me one more. It's, I'm still uh, emotionally damaged. I'm still traumatized. This nigga pulled my pants down with my 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 pants and my boxes was on, and my glizzy was exposed. So everybody was on the ground. I was like eight niggas sitting on the ground with females too, and it was like ew, it's so small and black. <laughs> All I gotta do is pull out and be like, shit. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, that was a crazy moment, man. I ain't gonna lie. I wanted to. Hey, listen. I wanted to fight him so bad, but I just couldn't fight him, man. I was too embarrassed. I ain't gonna lie. All I did was like, nigga, you's a whole, you's a whole ass nigga for that shit, my boy. You a hoe. But hey, he's still my homie to this day. Yeah, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you guys new to the channel, man. Smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. We're over 10, wait, yeah, under 10,000 subscribers. Let's get it. Hope you guys have an awesome day. And remember, before you go, be happy, be blessed, and remember, the world is yours. Peace. I'm out.